Welcome to the Nerd Den. Let's have a look around. Prepare for launch. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. Coming to you once again from the Nerd Den. And as I have been promising for a while now, we're going to take a tour. This is part one of two of the Nerd Den tour. So uh, we're going to start off with everything you see behind me, plus a little bit extra. Let's get to it. Here we go in the nerd den let's start taking a look around and we'll start with the stuff you always see behind me got my uh arcade one-up machines got star wars and the midway classic rampage it's got gauntlet joust and defender on there as well star wars has the original star wars empire strikes back and return of the jedi then we'll move over here to my G.I. Joes. Here's the Cobra section. Got a couple of bats over there. Got the Red Ninja. All the Cobra Troopers there. There's Major Blood and uh, Firefly. And up here on the front row, got the Major Players. Got Destro, the Baroness, and Storm Shadow, and Zartan, and of course, Cobra Commander. Over here, we got Croc Master. There's the Baroness's motorcycle. Got the statue of Destro. And then we have the Joes over here. There's Roadblock and Gung Ho. I'm not going to name all these people. You know who they are. They're Spirit. Got two Snake Eyes. Flint Lady J. I said I wasn't going to name them all, and here I go naming them all. Uh, Scarlet Duke and Barbecue. And then... Crap, I forgot his name. <laughs> oh, well, that guy on the motorcycle. <laughs> I know I know it. It'll hit me in a second. But anyways, <laughs> now we're going to move over to my Spider-Man section. And back in the back there, I've got my three and three quarter Spider-Man. There's an nice man. Just need Firestar to come out. So I have my Spider-Man and his amazing friends. But I do have a uh, Marvel Legends representation of them. This isn't the three pack that's coming out. This is a set I put together myself. And of course, there's a Kingpin back there, Mary Jane, J. Jonah Jameson, and several villains and versions of Spider-Man. There's the new Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. The black suit, spider armor. There's the Goblin and Bombastic Bagman. There's Black Cat over there. And there's a few gallery statues. Don't mind the shadow. <laughs> and I uh, got some busts down here. So I'm a big Spider-Man fan. And we'll move down to this shelf. And we got Wally back there. A couple of Tron Pops. Uh, got Vincent from the Black Hole. And got the Haunted Mansion. The bus from the beginning of that line at uh, Disney World. And some mystery glow in the dark minis. And moving over here, we got some DC. There's uh, the Justice League. Various different versions of them. There's Aquaman and Hawkman hiding back there. Green Lantern. And I got some McFarlane stuff. There's Harley and Joker. Got the 60s Batman and the Batman. <laughs> Just various other versions of Batman. How many times can I say Batman? <laughs> There's that guy hiding back there in the shadows. We've got a fabrication. And there's a animated Batman pop. And adorbs. 
There's some Hot Wheels. These are all Batmobiles. Got the black and the blue version of that. And then, yeah, that's the new Batmobile. And moving down, we have uh, some NECA figures down here. We got the Mummy and Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster, excuse me. And back there is Elvira. And we got some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Those are Diamond Select and some gallery statues. A little bust, and little mini figures. There's my big Jumbo Jack Skellington pop. Longer zero, and there's a little van Hot Wheels back there. Then over here, we got some Indiana Jones and the Game of Thrones lane. <laughs> there's the headpiece to the Staff of Raw. Indy on horseback, a gentle giant bust. Then there's the copper bones from Goonies. I actually made that. Yes, I, I do have a little bit of talent. <laughs> and a little Lego set. And there's Elliot from Pete's Dragon and Shrek and Donkey from McFarlane. And then there's Buzz and Woody. And then down here, got a little throwback 80 section. That is a vintage Black Lion from Voltron. Got some little Mega Constructs uh, He-Man figures down here. There's a Lion-O from a few years back and that's my only uh, Masters of the Universe Classics figure, that's He-Man, the second version. Then I've uh, got some party wagons back there from Hot Wheels and some vintage Ninja Turtles. Uh, about half of those are actually mine from my childhood and I filled out the rest later on from eBay. Then over here we have Superpowers. The new McFarlane Superpowers collection. I'm sure you've seen my videos if you've been around going over those. Then I got some uh, Battlestar Galactica diecast vehicles. And then there's a pop of Ash from Evil Dead. There's Rorschach and the Phantom. And then I have a Mego Superman over here. Found that at an antique store once. You can see his uh, left leg's kind of busted. <laughs> but I thought he was cool, so I picked him up. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay, now we're going to take a look at this little shelf over here. Got my Rocketeer helmet, custom made. Then we got some more Rocketeer stuff. Got my Pop and Adorbs, uh, Diamond Select. Then uh, down here, have a bunch of Sorcerer Mickey. There's a couple pops. My Grand Jester little bust. It's actually a uh, Hallmark <laughs> Christmas ornament right there. A little Mickey. And we got some more Mickey stuff over here. There's the Super 7 Sorcerer Mickey. My Jedi statue from uh, Disney World. Also another little Sorcerer Mickey statue I got from Disney, a little figurine. Actually got that on my honeymoon. <laughs> and a little plush. And then another Mickey statue. Got a Steamboat Willie. And there's the Hot Wheel of the Steamboat. A little minifig. And we got Stitch over here. Nope, oh, Stitch is down. And he doesn't want to stand up. Oh, I'll fix that later. <laughs> a couple Stitch Pops. Got a Stitch Gallery statue. There's a Disney Infinity Stitch figurine. And over here, got the Grand Gestures Donald Duck. A die cast uh, Sorcerer Mickey. And then a plastic bank from when I was a kid. Had that for years. Then down here, we have... Darkwing Duck Grand Gestures Bust. Darkwing Duck Pop. And hiding back there in the back is Gizmo Duck. And over here, we have my 
mini Cinderella's castle from Walt Disney World. 50th anniversary set. Very cool. It's lucky enough to grab one of those. Then over here, we got a Jack Skellington pop. And the key to uh, the dead man's chest. And then there's also a cursed Aztec gold piece. And a key for Pirates of the Caribbean. Maybe I'll overlook those. There's the key to Disney World and the Steamboat Willie key. I collect uh, the Disney keys. All right, that's that shelf. Let's move up. Okay, up here next to the giant <laughs> canvas of Spider-Man that you see in all, a lot of my videos. Uh, we got this shelf up here. Got a Raimi Spider-Man. Things massive. Super duper articulated. Great, great figure. And we got a uh, gallery gladiator Hulk. And an artifacts Hulk. And an old Thanos figure that I've had. And a mini mug Thor. And way up top here. Got all our Snoopy little figurines from Hallmark. We're big Snoopy fans around here. So we'll show all of those off to you. I know those aren't toys technically, but we enjoy them. It's part of the collection, so you get to see it. All right, and then we come down here, and it's Batman statues. There's a Jim Lee, Alex Ross. There's the animated Batman. There's the Batman. And there's a Dark Knight figure back there. And then Armored Batfleck. And then some Arkham. And then this Batman bust right here. And there's a couple of NECA prop replicas back there. And we come down here to Marvel. And there is my Captain America shield and my Iron Man bust. And I forgot to turn his lights on. <laughs> so yeah, the eyes light up. And I uh, got a Iron Man statue down here and a few Marvel Legends. And the gentle giant Captain America, the first Avenger bust. And there's zombie cap and a mini mug. And then down here, we have all my uh, old Marvel Legends from back in the day and Spider-Man classics. There's Venom and Thor, Ghost Rider, Captain America. Love these Spider-Man classics when they first came out. Came with these cool diorama bases. Love that Rhino figure. There's Daredevil, Magneto, and Wolverine. Mm, there's Lizard and Spidey. I know that's a modern Marvel legend, but I just stuck it over here. And there's a couple of the three and three quarter Marvel legends. Got stuck back there. Iron Man, Captain America. And then I've got Peter B. Parker laying down on the job because he will not stand for anything. <laughs> And then down here, back there in the back, there's a little light up Tetris lamp kind of thing. And then we got our Masterverse stuff. And there's that new uh, 40th He-Man. Gotta be honest, I'm not crazy about these being down here. Need to rearrange a little bit, put these in a little more prominent place. And then uh, just some stuff back there. And uh, oh, one more thing I made. <laughs> Here is my sort of power that I made several years ago. It's actually wood. Don't know if you can tell that. But speaking of Masters of the Universe, let's go take a look at my Origins collection. And here we go. Here is the Origins collection, Masters of the Universe. And there is He-Man, Man-at-Arms, and Tila. There's Ram Man hiding back there. Mosquito and Leech. We got Battle Armor, He-Man and Skeletor on um, Battle Cat and Panthor. 
And we got She-Ra and a Horde Soldier. And then we got some uh, evildoers over here. There's Skeletor and my personal favorite villain, Trapjaw. <laughs> And the very cool scare glue. Evelyn, Faker, and Jitsu in the back. And there's Roboto and Hordak. Then we got Merman and the uh, Land Shark up here. And there's Clawful and Antenna. Snout Spout, Fisto. And Beastman climbing up the ladder trying to get into Castle Grayskull. But he's not going to get past the Sorceress and Orko up here. And there's many faces over there. And Buzz Off flying around up here. And yeah, I've got so many Origins figures that uh, it kind of overflows over here to the windowsill. So I've got a couple of uh, Sky Sleds over here on the windowsill. There's a Triclops and Zodak. Then there's a Flying Fist He Man. And uh, I know I'm going to be adding to this collection, so I gotta figure out what else I'm going to do with all of these. I uh, don't know if you missed it, but uh, there's my Voltron down there. That is from the Netflix series. And then up here, I have my Vinylmation collection. Really do miss these. I really loved collecting Vinylmations. So all my Star Wars Vinylmations. And there's some uh, mystery minis mixed in. Some Haunted Mansion stuff. Sorcerer Mickey. And little robots. So yeah, these are cool little things. I don't know if you're familiar with Vinylmation. There's the nerds. But uh, they're all just little Mickey statues. But then they have different artists paint them. This is like a steampunk version of them. <laughs> There's pirates down here. But uh, yeah, I used to collect these. A lot of them are blind boxed. There's some Christmas ones. Those are scented. And then you could go around uh, parks or to Disney stores or whatever and uh, trade or trade with other collectors. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. They uh, did away with those a few years ago. So very upset. And as I said, there's a bunch of mystery minis. There's 626. That's not a mystery mini, that's just a fun Wally figure. Because I love Wally. And we got more vinyl missions up here. There's some Halloween ones, some cupcakes. <laughs> there's the ink and paint set. There's just some solid color ones. There's cars. There's Peter Parker and Indiana Jones. And Lumiere in human form. And those are actually some I painted myself. There's a couple Mickeys. Some more cupcakes. And then just some random ones. And way up top there are all my Muppet Lego minifigs. All right. And then up over here is Sting. Because, <laughs> you know, you have to look out for orcs and defend the one ring. <laughs> all right. Let's go check out some more stuff. And here we go. I know I've said this before, but I babble in Transformers just a little bit. So yeah, this is my entire Transformers collection right here. And I do enjoy these red figures. So I uh, got Soundwave and Starscream, Megatron Optimus. Uh, I hope to maybe get Bumblebee. He's in the wrong scale though. He's just too big. He's the same size as all these guys and he shouldn't be. He should be about the size of this guy. <laughs> Which those are just some cheap Dollar Tree figures I found, but I thought they were cool. Uh, this guy is actually vintage. This is a re-release. Uh, that guy is vintage. 
mine swipe, I believe. And then there's a little jack down there. And this is my 20th anniversary Optimus Prime. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. They really released this as a 25th anniversary one as well. It came with the base that talked. But yeah, this is the 20th anniversary Optimus Prime. And it actually transforms. It is a very, very cool piece. And then I have this statue over here that is a cell shaded Optimus Prime statue. I actually won that from Sideshow. So yeah, always love free stuff. <laughs> but a uh, very, very cool looking piece. No uh, matter what angle you look for, at it from, uh, just looks like it's uh, a drawing. So I really love that piece. Okay, we have one more shelf to look at for this part. So let's go check that out. All right, here we are at the last shelf for part one of the collection tour. And this is my vintage He-Man collection. Some of these are the vintage masters of the universe. Unfortunately, these are not the ones that I had as a kid. All those became yard cell fodder. But uh, these are the ones I've been able to cobble back together as I've gotten older and gotten back into collecting masters of the universe. And there is my favorite trap jaw. There's Skeletor and He-Man. Battle Cat, Orko, Many Faces, Mecha Neck, and Triclops, and a vintage Castle Grayskull. Now, I did have Grayskull growing up. I had Mecha Neck, Many Faces. These aren't the same ones I had, but I did have them. And then my He-Man figures that I played with mostly. I never had the two original ones. I actually had the uh, Battle Armor ones. Then later on, I got the Thunder Punch and Dragon Master He-Man and Skeletor. But yeah, that is my vintage Masters of the Universe collection. And then down here, we have the NECA Ninja Turtles cartoon collection. I got a little diorama base that I made to put in the shelf. Yeah, I really like this line. Uh, don't go super deep into it, because I'll be honest, <laughs> Ninja Turtles hit right when I was going into junior high, so about the first season, <laughs> so I really, really remember watching. So some of the deeper cut characters that they're doing now, I just don't really remember them. Uh, then down here, we have the Ninja Turtle movie figures from NECA. Love these. There's a Raphael hiding in his trench coat back there. There's Casey Jones and Splinter and April. And I've got these little Mega Constructs figs. I don't have Leonardo. He was the first one to come out and he's extremely difficult to find at least for a reasonable price. So gonna keep looking for that. I'd really like to complete the quartet. But uh, yeah, I think I'm done with the movie figures. I'm not gonna get into the secret of the use. Then down here is uh, some video game stuff. There is my Halo 3 Master Chief helmet from the Legendary Edition. And I've got some Halo statues. I believe these are all McFarlane. And there's a Halo 1 Master Chief and Cortana. I actually have quite the Halo collection. It's just in storage. But I have, I think, pretty much all the McFarlane uh, Spartans and uh, the Six Inch Scale Warthog but I have to go find it. <laughs> so it's all in storage right now, but I do love Halo. That was probably my favorite video gaming experience, at least in uh, more modern gaming. There's a lot of vintage games I loved. Uh, more video game stuff. I have the uh, Portal gun from Portal, from Aperture Science. And there's shell and a turret. And then I also have the keys from uh, Ready Player One. Love the movie. The book is even better. 
If you haven't read it, do yourself a favor, check it out. Great read, especially for nerds like us. Uh, you'll get to see the DeLorean. <laughs> there is my uh, Back to the Future DeLorean uh, vehicle. There's the license plate. And then a Camaro. That's there for personal reasons. I used to have an orange Camaro, <laughs> just like that one. Wasn't an SS though. And then lastly, down here, just uh, some odds and ends. Got a Simpsons car. Push the hood down, it talks. No batteries in it. Then we got a Rick's portal gun. And we got some mask stuff. I know he doesn't go in that sidecar. <laughs> and we got a triple back there and some Star Trek badges. And the Enterprise. And then uh, just a pile of Nerf guns over here in the corner. And I've got some more Nerf guns in another room. And a big old box of ammo. <laughs> but that is it for part one. Let's go wrap it up. And that does it for part one of the Nerd Den Collection. Be sure to come back next time for part two. All Star Wars. So part two is all of my Star Wars collection. Be sure to subscribe so you don't uh, miss out on part two. I'm sure you're going to see all the cool Star Wars stuff I have. And there's quite a bit of it. But uh, that is going to do it for today. Uh, if you have any questions about anything you saw, if you want a little bit more info or a closer look at anything that you may have seen in part one of the collection, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'll be happy to either answer your questions or maybe even make a video about it. But uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. And I'll see you guys next time around.